Meet the Aptera, a three-wheeled electric vehicle with up to a 1,000 mile range plus built-in solar panels. This is the world's most efficient electric vehicle with more than two times the efficiency of a Tesla Model 3. Let's dive into the details of this very unique and interesting EV and also the company itself. I'm Jonathan and welcome to CleanerWatt. If you've been following electric vehicles for a while, the name Aptera might actually sound familiar. And that's because the current company is a rebirth of a company that started around 2006. According to this Green Car Reports article, the company Aptera originally started in 2006, and when they ran out of funding in December of 2011, they folded. Aptera was never able to get an EV to market because of this lack of funding. However, now they're back, and with a boom in EVs and also better battery technology, Aptera is trying to bring back the super efficient three-wheeled electric vehicle. Currently, you can pre-order the Aptera with either a 25 kilowatt hour, 40, 60, or 100 kilowatt hour battery size. And the largest battery size with 100 kilowatt hours is capable, they say, of around 1,000 miles in a single charge. The longest range Aptera has a base price of $44,900, and if you add features like all-wheel drive and add solar panels to the hood and rear, that vehicle comes out to around $48,300. Now this three-wheeled Aptera is unlike any electric vehicle that is on the market. It's definitely going to catch the attention of those around you. And according to Aptera, the three-wheel design choice was made because of efficiency. Which really leads into one of the first unique features that I'd like to talk about for the Aptera, and that's the crazy efficiency they've gotten from this design. This three-wheeled EV was aircraft inspired, and it has a very low weight, super low coefficient of drag, and it makes a very efficient electric vehicle. According to Aptera, their vehicle only takes around 30% of the energy of the average EV to go the same distance. When you look at the energy consumption and how many miles it can travel per kilowatt hour, you can see that it takes around 100 watt hours per mile and it can travel around 10 miles per kilowatt hour of battery. When you compare this to even the very efficient Standard Range Plus Model 3, which goes around 4.78 miles per kilowatt hour, that 10 miles per kilowatt hour is more than double the efficiency. Even the long range version of the Aptera with a 100 kilowatt hour battery is almost half the weight of the Model 3 long range all wheel drive variant. And as I mentioned, it has a very low drag coefficient of only 0.13. As you can see, this is quite a bit more efficient than the Tesla lineup and also the very efficient Lucid Air. Another very unique feature about this vehicle is that it has built-in solar panels. Built-in solar panels haven't really been much of a thing in electric vehicles because in the past, if your electric vehicle is not very efficient, the solar panels really don't add that much range. But since the Aptera is so efficient, the solar panels can actually add quite a few miles and actually make it a very usable feature on this vehicle. For the base price, you get solar on the roof. If you pay an extra $300, you can add solar to the hood, and if you pay an extra $600, you can add solar to the rear hatch. According to Aptera, from the sun, you can add around 40 miles per day if you live in a very sunny climate. Here's a chart from a recent investor presentation, and it shows here, based on where you are in the world, how many miles they estimate you can add per year and per day with solar charging. Aptera on their website talks about this vehicle being an EV you may never have to charge. And this claim is actually pretty realistic because first of all, you're starting with an electric vehicle with a 1,000 mile range. Second of all, this vehicle in the right climate is able to add 30 to 40 miles of range per day if it sits out in the sun. So if you have a commute of let's say 15 miles or so there to work, 15 miles back, you should be able to recoup that in the sunlight on a sunny day and actually maybe even get more energy back than you used with this electric vehicle and with a huge buffer 1,000 mile range you may never have to actually charge this vehicle. Their website also mentions that they're going to make the Aptera vehicle to grid capable so you can actually use the Aptera as a battery backup system for your house and take some of the energy from that 100 kilowatt hour battery pack or whatever battery pack size you choose and put that back into your house. 
Now, every time we talk about an electric vehicle, I think it's important that you talk about the charging speed because not only will this vehicle get charging from the sun through the solar panels, but of course it'll accept DC fast charging as well. And according to them, you can add around 100 miles in a 10 minute charge at a roadside fast charging station. When you compare this to the Tesla Model S, 3X, and Y, you can see that it's right in line with how many miles you're adding per minute according to Tesla's estimates on their website where they say, for instance, for the Model 3, you can gain around 175 miles in about a 15 minute charge. Also, when it comes to performance, this vehicle is going to be very quick as well, and the all-wheel drive version should be able to go from zero to 60 miles per hour in around 3.5 seconds. The front wheel drive version should be able to go zero to 60 in around 5.5 seconds, and it has a top speed of around 100 miles an hour or slightly above. When you add this all up together, it creates a pretty compelling electric vehicle with a very low cost of ownership. With a starting price of just around $26,000, and because it'll need very little maintenance because it's an electric vehicle, and add to that fact that you may not have to charge this vehicle very much because you're going to get free energy from the sun, and when you do charge it, it's super efficient, so it's going to use quite a bit less electricity per mile than the standard electric vehicle. On a side note, this vehicle does not qualify for the $7,500 tax credit because it's a three-wheeled vehicle, not a four-wheeled vehicle. Now when you first take a look at the Aptera, it looks very small and it looks like it might be really cramped inside. However, it's a little deceiving because this vehicle is actually slightly bigger and has more room than it might look like. According to Aptera, this vehicle is around 172 inches long, 88 inches wide, and 57 inches high, and it has 25 cubic feet of luggage capacity, which is a lot more capacity than it looks like it might have. When you look at pictures like this of the interior, it actually has more room than it looks like from the outside. And when you compare this to the Tesla Model 3 size, you can see that it's really not that much extremely smaller than the Tesla Model 3. When it comes to driver's assistance features and future autonomy, Aptera has a feature they call Copilot, which is going to be launched as a level two system, but they should be able to ramp this up to a more advanced system in the future. So if you've been following everything I've been saying, you might be intrigued and might be interested in this vehicle, but you might have the question in the back of your mind, is this vehicle safe? When you take a look at it, it doesn't look all that safe. However, Aptera has engineered some things that we're gonna talk about into this vehicle that I think will make it actually more safe than it looks like. According to Aptera, the vehicle is made of lightweight composites that are many times stronger than steel. These composites that make up the vehicle are carbon, Kevlar, and hemp. Here are some statements on Aptera's website that talk about how they've engineered safety into this vehicle. Quote, We are designing to exceed all passenger car standards, and the previous version had the highest roof crash strength of all passenger cars on the road, and it performed exceedingly well in actual side and frontal crash tests. Aptera features a Formula One inspired safety cell with advanced composites and metal structures for impact strength. Similar to aerospace and racing, these energy absorbing methods are a core part of our safety strategy and have proven effective time and time again in high speed impacts. Aptera also makes use of today's best forward and side airbag systems in case of an accident. Also, when you add to the fact that this is an electric vehicle and it's going to have a battery pack, of course, at the bottom of the vehicle, which is going to give it a very low center of gravity, and also a rigidity that other standard ICE vehicles, internal combustion engine vehicles, will not have. I think it's going to surprise a lot of people when the crash data comes out. I believe it's going to be quite safe and actually a lot safer than it looks like. Now I'd like to shift over to the company itself, and first of all, I want to dive into some future models they plan to roll out in the coming years. So currently, they're developing what they're calling the Roadster, and that's the three-wheeled vehicle that we've been talking about. That vehicle should start being delivered in 2021. Next year, they plan to start working on a sedan version of the vehicle, and then in 2022, they'll work on a crossover version, and also it looks like a truck and a utility vehicle. And then in 2023, they plan to work on an electric semi. I think it's really smart that they started with a more simple three-wheeled electric vehicle, the Roadster, that we've been talking about. And I'm really excited to see this future roadmap roll out, and I'd love to see a truck from Aptera. 
Now, as we dive into the company, I think it's important that we really consider, is this company really going to be able to deliver an electric vehicle? And if they are, when will deliveries first start? Well, according to Aptera, they plan to start delivering their three-wheeled Roadster sometime around 2021. In a recent investor presentation, you can see the roadmap here that at the beginning of 2021, they plan to start their first production and deliveries. And they hope to manufacture and deliver somewhere around 4,000 units by the end of 2022. There are several factors that give me confidence that Aptera might actually reach these goals. The first one is that they're working with Sandy Monroe and Monroe & Associates. I found this on their website and they said here that they're working with partners such as Monroe & Associates. Of course, you know Sandy Monroe is an expert on efficient manufacturing and with his help, I believe Aptera is going to be able to manufacture this vehicle very efficiently. Also, the way they've designed this vehicle, according to them, it costs around half the cost to build than a traditional electric vehicle. One of the key factors that contributes to this low manufacturing cost is the fact that this vehicle is made of four key structural parts as compared to, in this example, they say Tesla's 200 plus parts. In a recent investor presentation, they put in this chart showing by the end of 2022, they hope to deliver somewhere around 4,287 of their electric vehicles and they could even turn a profit in 2022. They also have a good start on their funding. According to their website, they closed a $2.8 million seed funding in Q2 of 2020. They hope to close a $25 million Series A in Q1 of 2021. And they're going to apply for a Department of Energy loan in 2021. So in conclusion, Aptera is quite an exciting company and this three-wheeled electric vehicle is going to be very fun to drive, I think, because it's going to be very quick. It's also going to be a lot safer and have more room than it might appear. It's going to have a very low cost of ownership and I believe it will make a positive impact in the electric vehicle segment. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button because it helps other people find the video as well. I also want to take a moment here at the end of the video to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work here on YouTube, I'll put a link in the description below for the Patreon community that I've set up. Thank you so much.